Let us now try to understand how to get half of fractions. Let's calculate half of these fractions, right? So there are four of these and the best way is multiply them all by half, one by one, right? So we just write 1 over 3 times half, 1 over half times half, 3 by 4 times half, and 4 over 5 times half. So that is the first step. If you have to calculate half of any fraction for that matter, for example, if you want to find half of 6 over 12, well, it's already half, then what you do is just times it with half. That is what you need to do, right? Now, this is the first step. And then the second step is, second step is, multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator. So what do we get? 1 times 1 is 1 in the numerator, 3 times 2 is 6 in the denominator. It's so simple as that. So I'd like you to pause the video at this stage and do rest of the questions on your own. Once you have done, then check the answer. Well, I'll continue from here. You have a choice of coming back to this video again, right? Now let's see. So 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4. So half of half is 1 fourth. 3 over 4 times half. 1 times 3 is 3 and 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 1 is 4 and 5 times 2 is 10. So we get our answer, right? So that is how you get half of given fraction. Now you will notice that some of them can be simplified, especially this one. 4 out of 10 could be written as 2 out of 5. Do you see that? Yes, you do. So 4 out of 10 is same as 2 out of 5. We get it by dividing both by 2 individually. It is a good practice to write your answers in the lowest terms as shown here. But the idea here is to understand what is half of a fraction. So you can see half of the fraction is a smaller number. You can see 1 over 6 is much smaller than 1 over 3. In fact, 1 over 6 is half of 1 over 3. Now, how do we know that? So, what we will do now, we'll sketch and check. So, let me just draw a circle here, and in this circle, I will divide it into three equal parts. So, you know, we divide circle in three equal parts like this. One third of a circle is what? One third is, you need to shade one of them. Let me shade this one. So, that is one third. And what is so that is one third. And what is half of this? Half of this will be half of this, right? So that is dividing it into two equal halves, correct? How much is that in fractions? So what we need to do is we need to divide others also half so that we can have equal parts. How many equal parts do we have now? We have one, two, three, four, five, six equal part. And let's say this is my half of one third. How much is that? That is one out of six. Do you see that? So that is how you get half of a fraction. It is much smaller. It's just half. You see that? Now let's do once again. And this time we'll do with half itself. Okay, that's interesting. So we make a circle, divide it into two halves. And as last time, shade one half. So this is the half I selected this time. And now, what are we looking for? We are looking for half of this. Okay, let's slice it half, right? That is true. So half of this half will be, let us say, this part, right? Now, how much is that? If you see, that part is equal to this, this, and this. Kind of, one-fourth, right? One, two, three, four are total number of parts that goes in denominator. One of them is what we selected. One-fourth. You got it. Now, once again, we'll do three-fourths. So, three-fourths means this time we'll make a circle divided into four equal parts, right? And color or shade, three of them. Okay, that is my three of them. I left one, that means three-fourths, right? We want half of this. Half means, let me divide individually them into half portions, like this. Is that okay? Well, it's not that good a line. Let me do it like this. Fine. So, 
now half of these so instead of two we'll shade one so we'll do like that okay instead of these two we'll shade one of them okay instead of these two we'll shade one of them so that becomes half of three four is that okay how much is it now if you check total number of parts of halves are one two three four five six seven eight that is the eight and three of them we shaded so it is three out of eight that is how we get half of half so basically you are multiplying numerators with numerators denominators with denominators getting the answer this one four out of five so this one i will do in a different way so because we need a bigger number here we'll see how to simplify also so here in this case i'll make a rectangle so what i will do is i will make open rectangle kind of like this and divide it into five parts five parts so let's say this is my one two three four and five so that becomes my rectangle with five equal parts do you see that and what do i have four out of five let's say i take these four parts leave one behind okay so we take these five parts that means i have to go up to this place right okay that's what it is so that is four out of five right four out of five has been shared we just want half of this now how to do half of all these fives easy way is we just slice it through the center like this do you see that that is half and just take one half of it so let's say we take this half do you see that that is half of four of five do you see that so how much did i shade that is the question to be answered one two three four we shade it four so we are doing times half right so we get what four on the top but out of how many one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 do you see that 4 out of 10 4 out of 10 do you see that part so we get 4 out of 10 but how do i get 2 out of 5 from here hmm that is a big question can you tell me how can i get 2 out of 5 from 4 out of 10 that is your question to be answered think about it let me also think well one way is i think i got it one way is that let's think that we have this is one do you see that one here? one okay and this is rather i should have made it the other way so we'll make not this way but i'll use another ring okay sure so this time i messed it up anyway so we'll make us we'll make this think like this. this is one unit one right this is two then we have three four and five do you see that so this could be seen as five equal parts out of which how many did i shade so these are my five equal parts like this right out of which how many did i shade one and two do you see that part two out of five that is how i get my two out of five do you get it I hope so let me do it once again because I messed that up okay that's great so what I really did was kind of like this this is slightly faster now here five parts one two three four and five and then we selected four out of five so we'll shade four out of these which means we we'll leave one right so we'll shade rest these are four out of five half means we'll cut it across right and take half of them so we selected the ones on the top those halves right now we have to see it as combination of two out of five right so that means instead of using one unit we'll combine two together so we have this two let's say think like this that becomes one right and then we have this two three 
correct? 4, right? And that one is my fifth portion. Out of which, how many did I select? I selected just two, right? This one and that one. So it is two out of five. Just get it now? That is how we explain it. I hope it's absolutely clear. Now in this case, I would like you to copy these questions, try it on your own, and then watch the video and select the ones which you could do. So, I will suggest copy these questions, do it on your own, and then check your answers. That way, you'll be sure that you have understood all the concepts. And don't forget to draw these and show your answer in a pictorial way. That helps to understand. Thank you.